Melody Pond's third incarnation, best known as Professor Rivers' Song, was a child of the TARDIS and the wife of the Doctor, specifically of their 11th and 12th incarnations, although she also had encounters with their 10th and 13th incarnations, as well as earlier incarnations whose memories were later redacted. She was mostly human, with some Time Lord DNA, and was conceived by her parents, Amy Pond and Rory Williams, aboard the TARDIS as it traveled through the Time Vortex. She was then raised and conditioned by the Silence, who used her unique DNA to transform her into the first of several proto-Time Lords, granting her great strength, a deep understanding of the complex principles of time and space, and the ability to regenerate. She loved the Doctor dearly, and shared a long-lasting relationship with them. River was one of the very few people who knew the Doctor's true name. Melody was stolen from her parents as a newborn baby by Madame Covarian, to become a weapon of the silence in their crusade against the Doctor. After a later regeneration, she killed the eleventh Doctor, but then broke her mental conditioning to give her remaining regenerations to revive his corpse, after learning that River Song was who she would become. The Doctor and her parents left her to make her own way in the universe. With no connection to her family or the silence, River became an archaeologist, ostensibly to track the Doctor through time. She crossed the Doctor's path on several occasions, across many of their incarnations, and generally with the result that she was meeting them at progressively earlier points in their own time stream. Hoping to avoid temporal paradoxes, the Eleventh Doctor gave her a diary to keep track of their meetings and to prevent her from revealing, spoilers, to him about his own future. Again forced by the silence, she made a second attempt on the Eleventh Doctor's life, which led to their eventual marriage. Though actually unsuccessful, she was convicted of his murder and spent many years in Stormcage Containment Facility for it, to convince the universe and the silence that her husband actually was dead. This confinement was made more bearable by escaping frequently to go out on dates with the Doctor. She was eventually pardoned, due to the Doctor deleting any evidence of his existence, and became a professor of archaeology. After a final adventure with the Twelfth Doctor, which ended with them spending a 24-year-long night at the Singing Towers of Darillium, she died saving the Tenth Doctor, Donna Noble, Strachman Lux, and the 4,022 people saved in the computer system in the library. The Tenth Doctor saved her consciousness digitally to the library's computer system Cal. This data echo desired a true goodbye from the Doctor, and persisted for some time until the time came to say goodbye to her husband.